hey guys hope you all are doing well and so are we so today we are interviewing professor joshin lang who is the director of computer science program at university of ottawa and professor will try to answer all your queries in the best way possible so let's begin with it hey professor so first of all we want to ask you what things are considered in the applicant to be selected at university of ottawa computer science program for, for admission here the each program is deciding this uh, separately so each program has their own criteria um so in computer science you need a background in computer science uh we looking for uh undergraduate degree where you have taken consider key computer science courses for example data structures for example uh, algorithms for example uh, theory of computing um so you expected to have those uh and uh, in general um it's very competitive uh, you have well over 1000 applications and we're accepting about 80 students a year Uh, so the higher your average the better your your chance uh but we look also for other things so if you have uh if you have undergraduate degree from a very prestigious university it will help you if you have work experience it will help you uh if you have very strong reference letters it will help you um if you have especially if you have done prior public it will help you uh if you have um other things which help are uh if you have done competitions like computing competition asian competition something like that that's very very well regarded uh there's no direct formula so we we really looking at files individually um but i would say if, if you have an uh an admission So like since you've mentioned about the courses like data structure com- computing uh, computing uh, theory uh, so like if a person if a student hasn't done this courses is there any chance like if he gets the admission and then he can do this courses at the uh, uotwa in principle yes uh, however we have to look at that this uh, is quite uh, it's difficult to do because uh, it, it interacts all, all kinds of schedule given the high number of applications uh we will have to have a strong reason why we why we would accept a student like this because there's so many students who have all the requirements um so yes i mean if there is if someone has a very strong reason why we want to accept that student very outstanding student then certainly we do make exceptions but as i said uh this is quite rare um and it's more common if you want to work with a supervisor on a thesis than if you want to work on a course based degree okay and could you tell us more about like the companies that come for the co-op uh, for the computer science program well for the co-op program i think the the best people to ask is the co-op office okay. uh, because they have a more up to date you and this i mean i only have a small section from students i work with on another event too uh or from companies i work with on my research project so so my sampling is pretty small i know that that computer science students uh currently are very sought after um i have just a reason student who started at shopify um there's a lot of companies around here in the Ottawa area and and most of our students stay in the area co-op office was able to accept all students from computer science who wanted to do a co-op um there was a fair number this year and so they will all be presumably placed in in the coming years 
okay i'm uh, like one more question if a student wants to do the uh, research thesis based computer science program mm -hmm. so he or she needs to send the email to the supervisor beforehand like uh, what's the process uh, the process is uh, so yes I, there's there's two ways to go about it now most uh, most profs get a lot of emails and and so they tend to be slow to respond Unfortunately, um, the the best of one way of going about it is to to apply and in the application indicate the person uh, uh, you want to work with, and then the order gets reversed. So the the it's first decided if the student has all the the prerequisites to to study, and then gets contacted from downstairs to say the student would like to work with you uh, so this way uh, the email doesn't get lost in the daily uh, range of emails so so this way the, the actual professor will, will look at the file for sure uh, and one last question like why a, why a student should choose Ottawa U for computer science okay. <laughs> um, well I think our program has there's, there's advantages to it uh, which are program specific and then there's advantages to it of being in here in Ottawa. Um, the being here in Ottawa advantage is is, is on the one hand the, the industry here like we are considered Silicon North so so we have companies here We have a lot of service industry here. We have uh, telecom industry here. So this is really one of the biggest uh, high-tech hubs in North America, and certainly in Canada. Uh, so that's a big advantage. Um, program specific. Um, our our program has been around a while, so we are we are well known. Uh, and, uh, the, and, I, and I believe we, we provide pretty good, good quality education. Um, we have alumni here in the area, in, in Ontario and Quebec in general. Uh, so I think we are, we are well connected in, in that way, and we have a lot of profs which work with local companies. So especially for CSU students, that's a good, good reason. Uh, but also for first base students is this is the core program uh, which is which not all schools have but, but we have a core program so that's a very easy way to connect with the company here and get some work experience and, and your thoughts on like the program uh, like our directors and all uh, progressing towards the data science like your thoughts on that yeah so the data science program uh, is is a uh, so, so there's two ways to, to learn about data science, right? This is a, as part of the of the regular computer science program, and then there's a, a concentration in applied AI. And the concentration in applied AI is a specific program students have to apply for at the time of application. It's a very small program. It's only masters, no PhDs at this point, and it is very selective. So uh, there is only about 20, 30 students in it per year. Uh, so it, it's a very small program, but, but I should emphasize this is not the only way to learn about AI in, in India. So normal computer science program, uh, most courses you can take either as a regular CS student or as a CS. Like does it have a co-op option? It, <laughs> I, I, I think because it's a concentration, yes, it should. Uh, it should have this, the same the same rules, uh, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. To be honest, that's that's a question for Professor Victor. Who's okay. leading that program. Thank you so much, Professor, for your time.